Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 33. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and shew thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mount, and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is that to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth, and I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first, and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, which ye, shall, which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man, and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good for his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause to return the captivity of the land, as at the first, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, again in this place, which is desolate without man and without beast, and in all the cities thereof shall be an habitation of shepherds, causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, and in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth them, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days and at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called, The Lord our Righteousness. For thus saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel. Neither shall the priests, the Levites, want a man before me to burn, offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings, and to do sacrifice continually. And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, If ye can break my covenant of the day, and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne, and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord hath chosen, he hath even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people, that they should no more be no more a nation before them. Thus saith the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, 
so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A very beautiful chapter here. And when I begin the analysis of Jeremiah 33, I'm going to go ahead and begin here with the Lord's fury in Jeremiah 33.5. And let me read 33.4 first. So it starts with, For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of the city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from the city. So that idea beginning with when the Lord says, he says, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury. And for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. And I think to myself, one of the ideas that we see manifest over and over during the Old Testament period is the Lord's wrath against humanity. And this can be in many forms. Of course, maybe the most notable form is the flood. And then in addition to the flood, um, we, recently in this, in the books of Isaiah and Jeremiah, we've been discussing the Babylonian captivity. And in addition to that, we have other examples, uh, right? Many other examples. I don't, I don't go off, offer any more at this time um, because there are just so many. And when we look here in this chapter, in Jeremiah 33, what we see is the Lord saying that in his anger and in his fury, he talks about the dead bodies of men he has slain. And to feel the Lord's anger, it, it, when, you, when I read this chapter, it feels like the Lord's anger is, is there hot on the page. And even though the events of this occurred thousands of years ago, it still feels so powerful because it's Lord God Jehovah. And that just gives those words so much authority and so much power. The next verse that I want to discuss is here, is Jeremiah 33, 7. And the Lord saying, And I will ca cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And it goes on to say, And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. And this is another amazing example of how the Lord forgives his people and how he's merciful towards them. You know, two things are true, that the Lord teaches that we, that we should fear him because it is good for us to fear him. And the second thing is also true, that he is merciful. And when I see examples of his mercy, I know that I see, I see love, I see caring, I see tenderness, in terms of, you know, even though he is going to dispense justice for the sins, he's also capable of forgiving people their mistakes. And in this case, particularly, the word that I like, the word choice here that says cleanse, cleanse. Cleanse has a very positive connotation, you know. When you cleanse something, it, uh, it makes it anew in a way. And that's something that's very beautiful. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked at my chest, I worked at my legs, and I've created, uploaded, and will schedule today's Daily Diary video for 2 3, 24. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care and 
Thanks again.